All right, I still got my whole house right now running on uh, these batteries, but I'm gonna try to do a, a quick test on these to show you how these things have been performing long term. I've had some of these since, uh, as you can see, 2021 right here, November of 2021. So, you know, three and a half years, you know, this year will be four years on some of these. Some of these I've had for three years. And I got some stickers on here where I just checked them the other day to kind of see how they're doing. And I'm gonna show you guys, I didn't check them all, I checked a few. And so I'm gonna check some in this cabinet right here I got, and this one. And if you don't know, I got about 100 kilowatt hours of batteries here in my building for my uh, house system. I have another system that runs my building over there and it's 43 kilowatts. So I'm not testing those today, but I'll probably test them in another video because I have some of the PowerPro uh, uh, indoor wall mount batteries, the 280 amp hour batteries. And I haven't had those that long, but we will do some testing on those as well. But we're gonna hook these up to my computer here and it'll show you all the information with the BMS test. It'll show you basically uh, the amp hours that's left on the, the units now. And it'll show you how many cycles they've done and all that kind of good stuff. So let's get into it and see what they look like. The first one we're going to start with is this second one from the top right here. I have a GoPro down here so you can see up close and personal what we're doing. And right now, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and unplug the stuff. So, you know, these will be out of my system for momentarily. So I unplug both the uh, RS-485 cables right here. And then I think we have to set all these down, the dip switches. So I'm gonna set them all down. It's either all down or all up. As soon as I hook it up, I'll know because if it's not working, I'll go back the other way, but I'm pretty sure it's down. Go ahead and get my computer on. And then I'm gonna do a screen recording on the MacBook here. And as you can see, basically what you wanna go, what you're gonna wanna do once you get everything connected is go over here and you're gonna have to pick your uh, port so let's go ahead and port refresh and then as you can see the usb serial mine is a usb serial 1140 that's i'm pretty sure that's the one i'm going to be using and you're going to leave this at 9600 and everything else i pretty much leave at the same thing and we're going to go to connect and then it's going to say port open successfully down here at the bottom as you can see and go to go to bat info and see if the battery info starts popping up and it won't because i'm on address one i need to be on address zero so let's go ahead and add that address zero bam all right and bam there we are the battery is at 91.26 percent which is about right for what my system is reading and down here at the bottom says address zero remote measurement information failed hmm. let me see here let's see here let me look on my inverter here pretty sure it's at 91 percent yeah, and showing 92 percent on my inverter so this has got to be right i don't know why that's saying that at the bottom and it says discharging and it looks like it's current right now so let's go down here and see the full battery capacity on this thing is 99.2 amp hours so that's what i put on this sticker right here as you can see 99.2 amp hours i just tested this a couple of days ago so this is like two days later so I'm just testing it now again for the video and this battery's had 243 cycles on it so it's not at 100 amp hours like it's rated for at this point it probably was when I got it but I'm not 100% sure because some of them I didn't check I checked a few of these so we're going to compare them but not this one but 99.2 uh, uh not not bad for something that's had 243 cycles on it or at this point let's see here 244 cycles I mean, not bad. It's definitely not 100 amp hours like we would want, but we're going to try to see if these things are going to last long term and be pretty close to being 100 amp hours. So not bad in my opinion. Let's see what else we want to look at on here. Um, let's see here. The cell balance difference, we can look at that. The max difference is 0 0.002. So the cells are pretty balanced, not bad at all. And let's go ahead and jump on another one. Let's go ahead and unplug this thing and set it back and let's check the one on the top. We don't unplug that. All right, let's put these back up. I think it was the two on the outside. All right, now I can look at the amp hours on the inverter and the amp hours went back, so I got everything set back. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this top and let's see 
the first and the third one are up so let's put those down and let's move the camera up a little bit as you can see i got all these down now and we're going to go ahead and look up the rs45 from the computer let's go ahead and plug it in and we'll see if the information on here that i'm recording on the computer automatically changes and it did and went to 88.2 percent so it looks like the percentage is a little off from these batteries this battery is at the end of the run basically of these 12 and these two racks so of course it's going to be off just a little bit from the other ones and the full battery capacity on this one as you can see right here is showing 97.9 so definitely lower than 100 amp hours so and this one has let's see how many cycles this one has on it this one has 656 cycles on it which will be let's go ahead and you know i got this one in 2021 so it's pretty old so it's down a little bit so basically we're at 98 percent capacity so in three and a half years let's just say, see what the cycles are so that's basically the equivalent of being you know a little under two straight years of using it every single day you know so one percent a year so in 15 years you'll still be at 85 percent if it keeps going at this same rate and since i'm not using it's not counted as a complete cycle every single day because there's days i'm not using it as i'm doing testing and other stuff so i haven't used it every single day i've had it but i mean i don't think that's bad at all to be losing one percent a year or less i mean you know might not be the greatest in the world but so far what i'm seeing you know it's not going to hurt my system over 10 years 15 years you know these batteries are definitely going to be worth it especially for the prices uh that i got them for the prices did just go up a little bit on some of these but that's because of the tariffs and stuff like that so you can always go with the indoor batteries where the kilowatt hours per uh, kilowatt is going to be cheaper and so then the server racks but i think this is pretty interesting let's go ahead and check out a few more i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this one all right got that one disconnect let's put these back up i think one and three was up so let's put one and three back up bam let's check the amp hours make sure everything looks good yep went back up amp hours looks right all right so what i think i'm gonna do is i want to go in this first cabinet over here and check some of these out so let's go ahead and move some things around so the only thing i put on these batteries you may be able to see that i put the voltage i guess when i got them so when i connected them they'd all be the same about the same voltage so that's the only thing i wrote on there i wish i would have wrote uh the exact date and stuff like that i think these are the newer batteries if i don't if i remember correctly but we're getting ready to find out so let's go ahead and figure out which one we want to disconnect i'm probably gonna go down actually i'm gonna go down and just do the one all the way on the bottom because i don't want to disconnect too many of the batteries because i want my house to keep running so all right it looks like number two and number four are up on this one number two and number four are up and it's like this battery, I pull it right here. The full battery capacity is 98.9, 98.9 capacity. So 90, almost 99%. And let's see how many cycles this one has on it. This has 324 cycles. So basically a year's worth of cycles, even though I've had it longer than a year, I, I do believe. So I'm looking at this and it's looking like it's dropping around the 1% mark a year. The ones I've checked so far. Now, maybe you guys can check yours and see if you're coming up with the same thing, losing about 1% of the state of health over a, a year time. And that's actually using the batteries. So, I mean, these run fairly hard over here with all my stuff running on the house. So I don't think that's terrible at all. Let's see here. And it used to have a state of health percentage, but I guess that's just what I'm calculating myself now. They don't have that listed anymore. I don't know why. Back when I used to check it, years ago it used to have it on there so and let's see what the difference is the max difference of voltage as you can see right there is 0 0.002 so the cell differential voltage is very good so these things have stayed pretty balanced with each other um let's see the temperatures everything looks good so let's go ahead and connect this back and check another one let's check this one right on the top of it and go ahead and hook this cable up see what our percentage goes to all right let's see if we get any changes all right 91.48 percent 
looks like this one is at 98.9 uh capacity let's make sure that is the new battery let me go to battery configuration we're going to disconnect going to go to port refresh select that port again the usb serial connect and go to bat info again just make sure i'm actually on the right battery because the numbers look pretty similar which it, it probably would be similar since you know they came in at about the same time so this one has 326 cycles was that what the other one was or was it 327 so basically the same amount of cycles we got 98.9 .9 amp hours so lost about one percent uh, uh state of health over a basically a year time frame of uh, charges uh cycles so about the same let's go ahead and check another one am 91.28 so as you can see right here, 330 cycles. So a few more cycles than the other one. And the full battery capacity is still 98.9. .9, so about 99% state of health. So basically identical to what it was with the other one. So I don't think there's any reason to go and check every single one of these. I may go check one of the new ones I have just to see what that one is. So let's go ahead. One that's on the ground over here. Let's go ahead and wrap this part up, get all this put back, and then we'll go check that one. And we'll go ahead and check that one. I got all of them down already. All right, bam. Just got it hooked up. 90.56%. So 90.56%. And the max differential voltage, as you can see right there, is 0 0.001. It's got 242 cycles. The full battery capacity is 99.2. And all this kind of correlates to these seeming to lose about 1% uh, uh, state of health a year with basically a year's worth of cycles. And, you know, so, I mean, not bad. All right. It's got, of course, the server rack batteries got the 10 year warranty on them. Okay. So it's rated for 6,000 cycles at 80% depth of discharge. And then it don't give you a specifics on, you know, what they're saying is good and bad at a 10 I'm guessing like 1% a year is probably normal degradation. I'm just guessing. I don't know 100% for sure. But 6,000, you know, that would be like 16 years or whatever. It'd be quite a long time. So, hey, I'm going to be fine as long as it's doing 80%. So, is it talking about 80% depth of discharge? Like 80% is what you're going to have at that 6,000 uh, uh, discharge mark? Or is it saying 80% is what you're supposed to be doing with it? I'm guessing it's 80% at the uh, 16 year mark or the 6,000 cycle mark. So 1% a year, I'm going to be fine with it because that means in 20 years, it'll still be 80% unless you get your BMS or something like that goes bad. So I'm trying to keep these things as long as possible. Hey, you paid for them. You might as well use them. Let me know what you guys think. And of course, if you want any of these things, I'm going to have this stuff linked up down in the description and I will get a small commission off of these whenever you purchase one. So I definitely appreciate you trying to help people out that may be concerned, of course, about some of this EG4 equipment and want to know if it's going to last long term. You spend your hard earned money trying to get this stuff. You want it to work. And I'm telling you, these EG4 inverters and batteries have been great for me. They've been outstanding. I had grow watts before this. I have several other batteries running my building. I got the 12,000 XP. I got the 12K. I got the Flex Boss 18 on the way right now. I have the grid boss on the way right now. So we're going to be doing some changes and updating some stuff and doing some more exciting testing that you may be interested in. And if you are, hey, think about hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, and thanks for watching.